it's eight, vertical configuration seven, here. Six, five, four, I believe that's the first that three, totally punishing two, uh, overhead one, spinner. Fight. Robots fight. Oh! Whoa! And we see why Silk decided to go with their vertical for this particular fight. Smart move from the team behind Silk. This, this is, is why modularity. I Ribot Robot. This is why modularity can come in really handy in your robot. You can kind of tailor fit your bot for your opponents. Silk is absolutely intent on turning DBSC3 into a, the helicopter that it's always wanted to be. Look at all of that airtime. Wow, free helicopter rides for DBSC3 here. But remarkably, the weapon on DBSC3 is still running. Very much so. It's a durable bot. I love that, that is design. A, that is a dangerous, dangerous weapon. But Silk Builder Christian Cooper is not afraid, absolutely bringing the fight to DBSC3. Knocking them up on top of Brett in that exchange. Christian, let's see if you can launch your opponent right on top of Brett. Brett can't help you then. Wow, look at that. Look at the weapon on DBSC3. It continues to run. Incredible reliability from that robot. At the same time, Silk's weapon has not quit this entire time. It's just increased and decreased in speed as needed just for better control when he's moving and bigger hits when he gets in close. And it's been very effective, that strategy. I mean, it's just, there you hear it. I am just amazed that DBSC3's weapon is continuing to run with these super punishing hits from Silk. And you can see that bar is bent in the upward direction on both sides from these hits from Silk, but it's still able to spin. Probably a little bit less effective when it's bent up like that. It's gonna deflect off the top of the bot when it gets those hits instead of those big hits in the middle of the bot that you want. 55 seconds left in this match. One more pop in the air for Silk, which has been in absolute control of this match from the first <laughs> second of the match. It just sounds such uh, so loud inside the box. It sounds like a jet engine in there. Yeah, that weapon on Silk is just terrifying. And it's not a big, a big hit machine. It's just a grinding, punishing machine that will not quit. Oh, it looks like we're not seeing much motion. DBSC3, that robot may be dead. Not where you want to be Six, when we go into the end of five, this fight. Five, four, three, two, one. That's yeah. the match. So oh, the last Silk impression celebrates by spinning up all of the way. Last impression that you give to the judges is Silk's fully functional, fully functional weapon, and DBSC3 is just flopping. I think that this one is going to be pretty easy to call. So let's just do a show of hands. Silk, 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 Silk. Are we going to do threes? Oh, we got silk? audience holding up their hands yeah. too. Yeah, there we go. There audience. we go. I say democracy rules here. Silk clearly wins. Thank you, audience. All right.